Across Minnesota's southern border, the winter storm is impacting the final days ahead of the Iowa caucuses. This includes a number of canceled campaign events. Mills Hayes is live in Des Moines tonight with the latest conditions and political fallout from the winter storm. Mills? Hey guys, you might notice that I'm kind of in the dark right here. That's because my light just went out. And if you didn't know, cold weather kind of zaps the battery on uh, your uh, technology devices. So not the best case scenario for me. Here it is really starting to get much colder than it was uh, just a few hours ago. That sun came down and it is feeling about two degrees outside. Parts of Iowa got about a foot of snow. In Des Moines itself, they got about eight inches of snow and this has caused havoc all across uh, the state today specifically for those Republican presidential candidates that are trying to get out the vote and get people uh, to come on to their side. There were multiple campaign events that were canceled today and a lot of the roads here are not great to drive on. In fact, Iowa officials are urging people to stay off the roads as much as possible. Uh, I did have to drive over to one of those campaign events earlier today and I took the interstate. Thankfully, the interstate uh, roads are a lot more plowed than those back roads. Once I got out into one of the suburban areas of Des Moines, that's when I started seeing the roads just absolutely covered with snow. So hopefully when I go back driving uh, in a couple of hours, it will be a little bit more clear. But who's to say? Because we've seen a little bit more snow in the last few hours, and it doesn't look like it's going to be stopping uh, anytime soon. But uh, these next couple of days are going to be pretty brutal for Iowans. We're talking about uh, some temperatures getting around negative uh, 30 degrees, so it's going to be a rough few days here uh, for Iowans. Clearly, something like severely cold weather is probably going to affect older voters more. Hard to say who exactly is, is maybe going to be affected more by the weather. If the weather does affect older voters more, then maybe Trump's voters will be affected. My mother is 92 years old, and she's already told me that if it's snowing or ice, you're going to come pick me up in your four-wheel drive pickup. We will find a way to get there. Iowans are used to this, and so we can't stop life here because of the, the bad weather. It the Iowa Republican National Committee man says that he does not think that the weather will impact voter turnout, but at this point, it's anyone's guess. In Urbandale, Iowa, Mills Hayes, Fox 9. All right, Mills, thank you. And we have you covered starting Monday at 4 o'clock on Fox Local with a special Iowa caucus show. Live reports from Iowa with our own Rob Olson throughout the night and results as soon as they come in. Join us Monday on Fox 9 and streaming on Fox Local.